This is the co-main event of the evening. Three five-minute rounds, welterweight contest. Представляю соперников и первым бойца в синем углу. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. Ему 34 года, рост 180 сантиметров, вес 77 и 35 сотых килограмма. Профессиональный рекорд 17 побед, 6 поражений при одной ничей и его стильское джиу-джитсу. Ladies and gentlemen, he's 34 years old, standing 180 centimeters tall, official weight 77.45. As Brazilian jiu-jitsu specialist with professional record, 17 victories, 6 defeats and 1 draw. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Sao Paulo, Brazil, he is Elias Chuchu Silvaferio. Его соперник в красном углу клетки. And he's the pound of the cross the cage, fighting out of the red corner. Бойцу 32 года. Рост 185 сантиметров, вес 77 и 35 сотых килограмма. Его стиль ММА. И профессиональный рекорд 24 победы при 7 поражениях. Ladies and gentlemen, he's 32 years old. He stands 185 centimeters tall. Official weight 77.35 kilos. As MMA specialist with professional record, 24 victories with seven defeats. Dami Igaspada, Isalmati, Kazakhstan, Fatom, Kyargi, Ritsar, Kichigi. Referee Maxim Pratasev. Maxim Pratasev is the referee in charge of this co main event. Ellis, Silveria, Georgi Kichigin, first round. So let's see it. Well, I think that uh, Georgi Kichigin will try to come closer and uh, try to submit the opponent, yeah. just like he always does. He's very dangerous uh, with his grappling skills. Yeah, 15 wins by submission among 21 win fights. A single leg takedown. Attempt by Georgi Kachigan, but so far Elias defends himself properly, not letting the opponent uh, defending him with a hip. And speaking of Elias Silvera, he's quite a decision guy because he has 12 decisions out of 17 wins. He's very well rounded fighter, he knows how to defend himself on the ground. So let's see what Georgi Kichigin will show us today with this Brazilian fighter. So far, he shows quite a good control using the knee strikes to the hip. Another knee to the hip and a good defense from Silverio with this hip. And uh, Georgi Kichigin tried to sweep Silverio's right leg, but very good balance is shown by Elias Silverio. So far, it's just position control. There is some punches produced by Georgi Kichigin. Takedown attempt. Yeah, Georgi wanted to get down. And so far, Elias Silverio blocks all the attempts of Georgi for a takedown. And uh, so far, Elias does not make an attempt to separate, to turn the opponent around, to get back the space. He's just not letting to be taken down. Yes, exactly. Well, and of course, we all hear the crowd that actually, well, in America, I think that they would have started booing at once in a second, but 
So they finally separated and maybe we are about to see the fight. The confrontation, the opposition, and a good inside low kick. Another one from Silverio. Good connection by Kichigi. And another takedown attempt. A single leg trip. Kichigan is holding him, holding his opponent at the fence. Some connection with the left hand by Georgian. Good shot to the body. Whoa, that was pretty dangerous. Nice uppercut by Georgi. Well, he has a longer range, so why don't he use it? And now a single leg and a takedown from Silverio, but Georgi immediately tries to stand up to get back on his feet. And we see a small cuts under the left eye of Georgi. Elias Silverio is taking the body, controlling the leg. Jorge Kishinkin tries to stand up. Silvera is taking the back. And another takedown attempt by the Brazilian. And the knee to the body. 30 seconds to go in the first round. And we see that Jorge giving some good shots from the left to Silverio. They are short punches. They cannot hurt, but still he shows some action. And a nice move by Silverio. It can be a takedown. And there he comes. Beautiful move by Silverio, and he's on top now, but he does not have enough time to improve his position, and the round is over. The time expired. Good ending for the Brazilian. about to continue. Jorge comes forward, pushing the opponent to the fans. And a single leg takedown attempt from Silverio, and that is exactly what he does, but Jorge stands up, tries to get back on his feet. He takes the leg. I mean, the Brazilian takes the leg of Jorge Kichigin. But just for a moment. Silvera is still controlling the body, trying to make a takedown. That was a low blow, and <laughs> Elias Silverio apologized for that. Now Georgi uses the stomps. <laughs> and we hear the corner of uh, Georgi, and they tell him to continue controlling the opponent in this position. As we already mentioned, Elias Silveira knows how to defend himself. And that's why Kichigin is not able to make a takedown so far. Yeah. 
And of course, Gyorgy Kachikin needs to use the head to create the pressure to pressurize the opponent. And the corner tells him to give the opponent some knee strikes to the hip or to the body. Right hand to the face by Silveria. <laughs> Chicken working on the body. Another stomp from Georgi. Well, not much, not much action for now, but still, Georgi Kachigin tries to use the knee strikes sometimes, and the Elia Silverio sometimes hits the opponent with an elbow. Now he gets his neck. But just for a, a moment, another connection by Kachigin to the body. Two minutes to go. Some stumps produced by Kichigin. Nice connection by Silveria. And they separate. Good front kick by the Brazilian. Another, another leg kick. It was a calf kick from Elias. Another single leg takedown attempt by Kichigin. And a sweep is needed here. Well, I guess so, but in the previous round, Celia showed a very good balance. And it, it's not that easy to take him down, even if he's standing on the single leg. Yeah, but there is not much trying in Kichigin's ability to uh, take his opponent down, because I think here, he can use the sweep. And 40 seconds to go. But as we can see, Kichigin prefers to just push. Yeah, just to remain in this control and hold. Yeah, without, practically without any strikes and punches and knee strikes, just controlling the opponent, getting points for that. 15 seconds to go. Ten seconds. Stop. And that's it. The time expires. One round left. Well, and so far the fight is pretty close, I think, because of the way of the fights. And as far as you could see and remember that practically during the whole round, the fighters were struggling against each other in clinching in the, on the short distance. And we see Dmitry Lushnikov and uh, Georgi Kichigin's corner. That is the, one of the best <laughs> cutmans in the world. The third and final round. Hey, attention! Three round. Round three. And here we go. Good leg kick again from Silverio. Well, look at this. Georgi Kachikin feels himself good while hitting the opponent from the longer range, but... He prefers to wrestle. Yes, yes. After these good clean shots, he prefers to shorten the distance and come up closer to low the pace, to low the tempo, and just to wrestle. Well, yeah. this is his tactics. This is his game. And he takes one punch. 
What a takedown attempt. Very good one. And Georgi Kachikin immediately crawls to the fence. Because it is going to help him to get up. And a good connection from the left by Silverio. Now Elias is on top, getting up on his feet. Silverio understands that he needs to win this round. Badly. He needs it badly. So far, Silverio controls the body of Georgi, puts the hook inside, but Georgi manages to stand up, but not for long. And as you can see, Elias Silvera is taking the back of Georgi Kichigin. And he controls it so far without striking, without knee strikes to the hip. And, and it, here, here comes the back elbow, so to say, from Georgi. And another takedown from Silverio. And Kichigin tries to stand up immediately. Yeah. Jorge does not want to stay on the ground in this position, understanding all the advantages that uh, the opponent can get from this position. Well, he's defending the hip from the knee strikes and looking for a moment just to turn around, maybe. Another takedown attempt by the Brazilian. Sharp knee. Elias provided. And half of the round passed already. And Kyrgyz Kachigan gets the control back to himself. And of course, Georgi needs to stay busy during the second half of the round because if he wants to get that round, he needs to do it. Yes, but he doesn't need to just stay here in this position. He has to work. Yeah, he has exactly. to produce punches and maybe take down. Right you up. Right you up. Because right now, for me, for example, the first one went in favor of the Brazilian and the third one goes for the Brazilian. Well, it seems it's looked like... <laughs> and a single leg takes down attempt from Yuri Kachigan. But during the whole fight, we saw that it's really, really hard and difficult to get Silverio down, even if he's standing on his one leg. Very good balance is shown by the Brazilian fighter. Yeah. Good takedown defending skills. Well-rounded fighter, as we already mentioned. Less than a minute to go in the third and final round. Still, Kichigan is controlling the position. And he's got now more blood on his face. I'm not sure if it is the, the old cut or if it is a new one. Several shots from the left by Kyrgyz Kichigan. Uh -oh. What a mistake by Georgi, but there is not much time left for Silverio maybe to try to finish. But still, Georgi this Kichigan. is a dangerous position yes, for it is. Kichigan. Maybe produce some more punches for the Brazilian. That's what he does. Yeah. The very good Ladies ending the of the round for uh, Elias Silverio. This is the mom of Georgi Kichigan, Anna. And uh, looking at her face, we can say that she's not happy with her son's performance. And maybe she's not sure whether he won it or not. Well, I'm not sure either.
Miguel, Matheus, ele existe, ele existe. So emotional, guys, so tense. So let's hear it from Alexander Zagorski. Дамы и господа, по завершении главного боя раздельным решением судей победу одержал. Ladies and gentlemen, after the end of the co-main event, your winner by split decision, Georgi Kichigin! So Georgi Kichigin is the winner by split decision of this fight.